Welcome everyone, my name is Teddy Petru and I'm here with another Python data science tutorial. In this one, we're gonna learn how to convert trapped tables within PDFs to pandas data frames. So the pandas library is the most powerful and popular Python one to do data analysis. It can directly read in data from many sources such as CSVs, Excel workbooks, SQL databases, even your own clipboard, but not tables within PDFs. So thankfully, uh, there is this tabula pi library, which does allow us to extract tables buried within inside of TBS and return them as pandas data frames. So this is a really cool library. It's actually based on the tabula library. This is a tabula pi, is just a Python wrapper around tabula. Uh, you need to have Java installed. There'll be a link in the description below to where you can go to the documentation of Tabula Pi. It's very simple. You just install it with pip and then you are ready to go. So what we're going to look at today is a book sales PDF. This is actually from my book, Pandas Cookbook, that I wrote in 2017. This is a royalty statement. So there's all this data on this uh, in this PDF. This is just an image of the PDF, but it looks just like this. What I want to do is extract this table right here. This is a real problem that I had, which is why I am now creating this video. Um, I wanted to get all of the data from my royalty statements, and there was many of them, so I wrote a little Python script to do so. So the table that I want is really just right here. You know, it has four columns, format, copies, revenue, royalties. And so to do this, is, it's pretty simple using tabula pi. You just import it, then you call the read PDF uh, function, pass it in a file location string, and you can tell it the number of pages. Here we're just saying pages equals one, but there's, <clears throat> there's different ways to use this parameter to say which exact pages you want to use. It will return a list of data frames. That's why I call this variable DFS, so like data frames, and by default, it just automatically detects the tables. You don't have to really do any work. It will automatically detect all the tables and then convert them all to data frames. You can see here that it's returned a single data frame. I'm going to just select that single data frame as an item in the list as DF. And let's output it. You can see here it extracted three columns and has author royalty statement here, has the word pandas cookbook here. So if you look back up here, what it's done is it actually has extracted this box over here and this box over here as part of the table. We do not want that. <clears throat> you could use pandas at this point to sort of clean this up, although it would be quite a mess to use pandas. Um, there are four columns, not three. It's actually easier to just to use in other parameters for a more precise extraction. So if you use the read PDF, you actually have several more parameters here, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is just specify the actual area, the boundaries of the table, so the top, bottom, left, and right boundaries, along with the boundaries for the columns themselves. And to do that, you use the area and columns parameter like this, but you also need to, you don't need to do this, but I think this makes it easier. Is set relative area, relative columns to true. That way you can use relative page percentage. So a number between zero and 100. So if we go up here, and this is just sort of trial and error, you can see that the table starts right here. Um, this is, I put 42, like the top is 42 to 60. So um, again, just trial and error until you get it right. The left and right boundaries don't matter as much. I just use zero and 100. So that's what I did here. So you actually have to put them in as top, left, right, and then bottom. Sorry, top, left, bottom, and then right. The columns are just the vertical places of where you want those columns. So like like right here is you know, around 45%, then something around 60 something percent and then another around 80 something percent right there. So three boundaries for four columns. And then when I read this in, I get 
basically the exact table I want. It correctly puts in the columns that I want up here. Uh, there's just a couple of things now that we have to do to clean up. So it's read in these dollar signs, which is you know, typically what you want. You just want it to extract all the data. And we're gonna use pandas to clean it up from here. So you can see here, it did correctly read in this column as integer, this copies column. The revenue column read it in as a string and it has this dollar sign. It has some commas in here. So what I'm gonna do is use the replace pandas method to do a regular expression. So what this does is it replaces any of these characters inside these square brackets. So the dollar sign, the comma, and a space, replace it with an empty space. And then I'm gonna convert that to a float and I'm gonna just overwrite those columns. Okay, so that's it. That's how I get my table out. It's just a basically a two-step process. First step is to just to specify the area and the columns. And the second step is to re use a regular expression to replace uh, those characters with an empty space and uh, overwrite the old columns. All right, so that's how you can use tabula pi to convert, convert trapped tables within PDFs to pandas data frames. If you enjoy this lesson, then I think you'll really enjoy my book, Master Data Analysis with Python. It is one of the most comprehensive books available on the market to do data analysis with pandas. You'll also learn how to use Matplotlib, Seaborn to do data visualization. It's an extremely comprehensive book, has over 800 pages, 500 exercises. There's four certification exams that you'll take and be able to pass and get certificates if you complete them uh, and solutions to all the exercises as well. All right, so hope you enjoyed that tip and tutorial and I will see you in the next one.